Super Mario and my friend Super Sunny. Mamma mia, he's number one. <laughs> See you in my games. Yippee. What's going on, guys? Sunny aka the Random Recorder here. So today, I want to talk about my personal predictions for Nintendo's E3 2019 presentation. And that's pretty much all I'm going to say for the intro. So let's just jump right into it, I guess. Now, last year, Nintendo's presentation was about 43 minutes long. And the way that it was broken down was about 17 minutes of third-party uh, announcements, things like ports, for example, Fortnite. Um, I think there was actually a bit about three, Fire Emblem Three Houses, which does count as first party. But again, it was essentially a, the first 17 minutes were pretty much all really small announcements, and the rest of the presentation was all Super Smash Bros. And I think Nintendo is kind of... This year, I think their presentation is going to be a bit different because they have three things, three major exclusives that are coming to the Switch this year, unlike last year when all they really had was Smash Ultimate. They have three major exclusives coming to the Switch this year that they have not talked about at all. And I'll be getting to those in a sec. Before I do, let's talk about what I know for a fact is not coming. So the first thing I know for a fact is not coming is definitely going to be Pokemon Sword and Shield. And the reason I know that is because today, on the very date of recording this, I believe it's May 27th, Nintendo has actually announced that there will be a Pokemon Nintendo Direct on June 5th, about one week before the actual uh, E3 presentation. Meaning that most likely most of the gameplay reveal and pretty much everything they have to say then will be revealed at that Direct, and so that way it doesn't take any time out of their E3 presentation which is pretty smart, to be honest. They don't usually feature anything about the Pokemon games in their E3 presentations, so this does fall in line with what we're used to, so it's nice to see they're kind of keeping up with that pattern. I think we'll also be getting a release date at that Direct, and probably most of the gameplay, if they do end up revealing a new gadget like the Pokeball Plus, it will most likely happen in that Direct and not at E3, but if it does, it'll be at the very beginning of the Direct and it'll be a short and sweet announcement, like again, last year's. So that out of the way, we also know that there will be no new hardware announced, and before you say, well, what about the Pokeball Plus you were just talking about, I don't think that's necessarily going to be considered hardware. When I say hardware, I mean a new console. There's a lot of rumors about a Switch Pro and a Switch Lite going around, you know, a budget model, a smaller model, and a bigger model that has better performance, and I don't think, uh, and it has been officially confirmed that neither of those will be announced at E3. There was a whole interview about it, I'll have it on screen right now, um, but yeah, it was, it is officially confirmed that hardware will not be appearing at Nintendo's E3 presentation. So with that out of the way, let's get to the speculation and the three major exclusives that are going to be definitely talked about this year. The first is Animal Crossing for the Nintendo Switch. This was teased last year at the Smash Bros, as part of the Smash Bros presentation, I believe, when they announced Isabelle was coming to Smash, they also announced Animal Crossing for the Switch would be coming out in 2019. And it would be pretty foolish not to talk about it at the E3 presentation. It is definitely going to be one of the biggest exclusives on the Switch, so it would make sense to talk about it here. Most likely, they'll be doing a gameplay reveal. They could be giving out the release date, but I'm not 100% sure. If it comes out in 2019, we're pretty much midway through the year, so there's a good chance they'll do it. But again, I'm not 100% sure. They could do it in a future Direct. The next exclusive is Luigi's Mansion 3, also coming out 2019. This one... <laughs> I, th I definitely think they will be having a gameplay reveal, and they'll most likely reveal the release date. My personal speculation is October, just because it's Halloween and stuff, that's, that's it. Um, but, I mean, that's most likely what's going to happen is October, just for Halloween. Nintendo usually will give out the release dates at their E3 presentations for some of their bigger exclusives, so I guess Animal Crossing is also likely to get one as well as Luigi's Mansion. And the last exclusive is... What was the last assist? Oh! Okay. Carlos, you're gonna have to cut all this out. No pass! Uh, you know what? I can do it. I, I got you. <clears throat> and the third exclusive is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Or just Link's Awakening? I'm not I'm not actually sure, but I'm just gonna call it Link's Awakening. The Link's Awakening remake that is also coming out 2019. I think that one's gonna come out in December, and they'll probably definitely end up giving out a release date for that one. It is uh, Zelda is one of the biggest IPs Nintendo has, 
or I mean, the second biggest IP after Mario. So it would make sense to go ahead and give that a release date as soon as possible. Probably uh, talk about various editions because it'll probably end up having collector's editions, special editions, things like that. So those are the big three exclusives that they had to talk about. They could be announcing more. And one of the other things I know they're definitely gonna announce is a new Smash Bros. Fighter. E3 is the biggest gaming conference in the world. And that is, I mean, announcing a new Smash Bros. character, that is the best way to get it on the map. That is the best way to get people to talking about it because most, the most people will be watching E3. I think they could be doing a dual reveal just because they've confirmed that February 2020 is when they want to have all the uh, fighters on the fighter pass uh, released by, not even revealed by. So I think it's incredibly likely that they will be announcing two just so that they can go ahead and start uh, they can confirm they've already started development on um, both of those characters. So that is definitely going to be coming up at the direct. Now, in terms of third party announcements, I don't think it's going to be the same amount as last year. Last year, I think they had less announcements, but they spent a bit more time talking about them. I think this year, Nintendo is going to be doing uh, it, everything a bit differently this year. There is the Persona 5 Scramble game that is coming to the Switch. I think they're going to spend a bit of time talking about that one because it is kind of a big deal that they're working with a Sony-exclusive uh, IP, Persona being the IP. And I also think they're going to be just, uh, given that Sony is not having a presentation, I think Nintendo is going to take this opportunity to go ahead and just, you know, reveal a bunch of stuff, uh, reveal a bunch of things like new indies, new just third-party games right and left, as well as their exclusives to go ahead and get people talking, to get people ready before we go into the holiday season this year. So I think those are also really, really likely to come. And that is pretty much everything that I think we're going to get to see at Nintendo's E3 presentation this year. If I had to give it a runtime, I'd probably give it uh, around 45 minutes to an hour, not much longer uh, than last year's, and I don't think it's going to be any shorter. Uh, but let me know what you guys think we're going to get to see in the comment section below. If you think we're going to see uh, a new Smash Bros. character, who do you think it is? I'm most likely doing a predictions video that should come out before E3, hopefully. So that hopefully should come out soon. <laughs> I just, I just, you're going to have to cut this out, okay? Um, I'll pass. And so, yeah. That being said, we're in the quarters. Peace out. Look at a fake smile. Something is wrong here. Something is very, very wrong here.